good everybody welcome to bowlers paradise my name is ben i'm a usbc silver certified coach and today we are taking a look at the all new extreme envy from hammer as we fire it up scroll on down hit that subscribe button but for being honest it's pretty rare to find honest cross brand reviews of bowling balls these days and that's what we're best at so if you like it make sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next one hammer realigns the top end of their performance chart with the all new extreme envy featuring one of the strongest cores in hammer's history the launcher lrg core with its fast 2.48 rg high 054 differential and also a high 022 intermediate diff for the cover, Hammer chose the Envy Solid CFI cover, which was unveiled on the Obsession in 2021, and is still one of, if not the strongest cover in Hammer's history. For the layout, I did my best to work with this crazy amount of strength by using a 5x4x4 2LS layout. It's a weak benchmark layout for me that has worked on a number of releases, and even though it cuts some of the performance potential, it still allows us to accurately illustrate what this piece will give to most bowlers. And on the lanes, there was definitely Definitely hints of what the original Envy gave me, but holy cow, the strength overall is just an entire level above its predecessor. This might be one of the strongest solid ASIMs I've ever thrown, but still manages to keep the ability to continue through pins. The original Envy was surprisingly effective on how shots because it blended strength with continuation, and this new Extreme Envy does a very similar thing, just more of it. So given an oil pattern with a higher volume of oil, this is very likely a level of performance I would appreciate as I could still trust it to hook as I move inside but not have to give up all of the continuation through the pins. The problem with that being the ideal is that it's something I don't see terribly often and I don't think most bowlers do. Which is why the level of performance is actually kind of a downside for this piece. It might actually be too much for a lot of bowlers. If you only ever bowl on house conditions, the truth is that there's just better options out there. And if you're somebody who bowls on tougher conditions, the chance you'll see enough volume to justify this punch performance is small. In short, it's an exceptionally niche piece for a couple specific types of bowlers, but we'll get to that in a second. First, let's talk pairings. If you can match up with the Extreme Envy, I think pairing it with the Envy Tour Pearl and the Dark Web Hybrid would be great. Both would be pretty significant steps down off of the Extreme Envy, but they're shapes that are unique to themselves and are good in their own right for the types of bowlers that would be able to utilize the strength of this Extreme Envy. For our cross-brand comparisons, I first grabbed the Pride Dynasty from Motive, and the fact that it gets through the mid lane enough for me to see some good shape down lane makes this a much more usable piece than the Extreme Envy. However, this is on a house shot, and if the condition were flatter, I'd probably prefer the hammer. Second, I grabbed the Eternity Pie from 900 Global, and not only do both of these balls look identical in their colors, the shape on the lane was exceptionally similar as well. The Eternity was slightly cleaner, but honestly, that's just because I threw it before the Envy. Don't kid yourself into thinking one's better than the other here. But finally, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Hammer Extreme Envy. The first is speed dominant, low axis rotation bowlers. If you need the ball to do the overwhelming majority of the work, look no further than this one because you don't have to do much to get a lot of performance out of it. Second, I think of bowlers with a lot of tilt that need that top of their arsenal kind of piece. If you have a lot of tilt, the likelihood is that you already have a solid ASIM that works well for you. So if what you need is a replacement for that one that's getting old, this is the type of next generation performance you're looking for. The amount of strength on this new Envy is definitely extreme, but in the right hands, the scores might just be extreme as well. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure you use that discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to Nick Pluff for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next one. But before you go, don't forget, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.